Hi there, welcome to High School Maths. Today we're going to be looking at higher purchase, which is a method of paying for goods over a period of time rather than paying the whole amount up front. So we've got an example here, first of all, with a shop selling an Xbox for £60 deposit plus 12 payments of £50, or you can buy it cash for £500. What we're going to start off with is how much would I pay for the Xbox using higher purchase HP. Now I've kept the numbers quite simple here to show that this can be a non-calculator or calculator question. Let's have a go at this without a calculator. Now, most times when you're doing higher or paying for something using higher purchase, you will have to pay a deposit as your first payment and you'll pay that on the day you actually buy the item. Here, our deposit is 60 pounds and then we've got 12 payments of 50. That's all the cost for the item using higher purchase. We're going to deal with the payments first because it's a little bit trickier. So we've got 12 payments of £50, which is £600. That's just your payments. You've still got to factor in or add in the deposit that you pay at the very beginning. So then we've got £600 plus the £60 deposit, which is £660. That would be the total that you would pay using higher purchase. Now it says in the question that to buy it cash, it would be 500 pounds. And part B says, how much would I save buying cash? Well, it was 660 pounds using higher purchase minus the 500, 500 pounds paying cash. So you would save 160 pounds if you paid it up using, sorry, if you paid up using cash at the very beginning rather than paying using higher purchase and doing the monthly installments. And that's quite often the case. Most times when you're paying up something over a period of time, you will pay more for that. Let's have a look at another example. It's a little bit more complicated and takes some percentages into account. So we've got the cash price of a washing machine is £420. To buy on higher purchase, it's a 15% deposit of the cash price plus 24 payments of £20. How much would you save if you paid the cash price of £420? Okay, same idea here, but a little bit more complicated because rather than telling us what the deposit is, we've got to calculate it. So that's what we're going to start off by doing. 15% of the cash price, which is 420 Now, best way to do that, again, we're going for non-calculator here, is to find 10%. So I'll just do a little bit of working over at the side. 10% of 420 would be 42. 5% is half of that, which is 21. Add them together, and that gives you 63 pounds. 10 out of 5 is 15%, 63 pounds. Okay, that's how you would do that without a calculator. Not too tricky, but just be careful with the calculation. So the deposit is going to be £63. Our payments, so that's the deposit, our payments are 24 payments times £20. Not too tricky there. 24 times 2, that's 48. That's going to be 480. Total cost is the payments plus the deposit. So 480 plus the 63 pounds, which is 543 pounds. Okay, so be paying by higher purchase and paying over that period of time, that 24 months, you're gonna end up paying 543 pounds for the washing machine. But the cash price was 420. So how much would you have saved well, we're going to subtract 543 minus the 420. And again, quite easy to do without a calculator if you're careful. That gives you £123. Okay, so that's how higher purchase works. And that's some examples of higher purchase used to buy different things. For other maths videos and resources, please visit highschoolmaths.co.uk. And if you liked the video, click the like button and subscribe. And please remember to share the video. Thanks for watching and have a mathematical day.